episode two was a little bit of a slower pace. Uh, we're on the planet Day Dayu, the, the new planet Dayu, which is kind of a Hong Kong style planet. And Obi Wan is out, is you know trying to find where Leia is. She was in the last episode. She was taken by the flea and his kidnappers, and so you really get to see Obi Wan interacting with Leia and how much she really reminds him of both Padme and Anakin. And right, like I said in the first episode, he believes Anakin has been dead. It's been ten years, so hasn't heard anything. Uh, Grand Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor is here on Dayu. Telling Reva, like, back off, you know, don't don't be chasing Kenobi, you're not ready for this, or, you know, he's not worth it, and she's like, no, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna be the one, I gotta catch him, but there's some kind of weird turmoil between that, she's got a grudge, and it's obvious, it's, it's very apparent, she has a grudge against Kenobi. Kenobi! Um, we don't know what it is, I think, my theory, she is one of the younglings that we see in episode one. And she blames Kenobi for uh, Order 66 because she knew a lot of his connections to Leia. She knows a lot of, you know, his connections to Darth Vader, to Anakin Skywalker. Um, but then, like, the whole, the, like, you know, being in Dayu, the the whole Hong Kong, Japan feel, Obi-Wan's running around and he runs into Kamal, Kam, Kamal Nanjani, uh, you know, if you recognize him from... Eternals, he plays a Jedi in this one. He's actually a con, a con artist, which, you know, he's really good. He's a real good comedian. So having them interact on scene was really good to see. But um, the whole time, Riva's playing Vengeance. And she's up on the rooftops looking around and, like, you know. I don't know. I didn't like that. Like, it was just over over dramatic because, like, you know, Obi-Wan's on the... Uh, on the roof fighting the bounty hunters and she starts like flipping around and like she's running and it was just ah! weird how they made her kind of traverse with the force because she's like flipping up walls and, like it's like watching a b-rated matrix movie and it was just like what are you doing and then like she's like running around and there's like you know, I'm vengeance, and you know, I'm, I'm Riva. Like, you know, I'm I'm tough. I'm got a lightsaber. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. And I was like, chick, just relax. Um, but this episode was really good because you get to see, you know. Obi-Wan kind of getting back into the swing of things, and he's like, okay, I gotta save Leia. Um, you remind me a lot of your mother, but at the same time, she's as smart as her father, and he's seeing that. I mean, he's never really interacted with the kids, and, you know, to, to see, you know, how much they resemble their parents, you know, especially Leia. If you, oh my god, if you think Leia as an adult is annoying, this girl, this 10-year-old needs the chancla. I mean, I swear. Where to cut? There's times where I'm just like, oh, someone give her the chancla. Someone just give her the chancla. And she's like asking questions. She's so much of a smart ass. And then I was like, oh, where's the chancla? Where's the chancla? And so, um, you know, and, and he was like, how old are you? And she's like, I'm 10. He's like, you don't look 10. And she's like, thank you. You know, super, super Leia Organa being how she is. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. We miss you. But, you know, this episode... Really, um, really didn't get into much of the lore. It's just more of a, like a heist, kind of like an escape. Um, that's kind of what I got out of this one. It, it's, it's good to see, okay, where, where are we going to take it? It's, it doesn't drag out. You know, the, the episodes don't feel to seem, they don't seem to feel like they're dragging out, um, the story too much. Because, I mean, remember, we only have six. So we got two here, and then we have a few coming up. And the next Wednesday, the first, is going to be... One of the, it was going to be the start of the regular series time frames. So then I will have to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then, like, at the end of the episode, Reva reveals that Anakin is alive. And you see it in Obi-Wan's eyes. Like, both of fear and of, like, kind of remorse. Like, oh my god, he's alive. Like, you know, Anakin's alive. And she, you know, she's telling that to try to draw him out. And then the Grand Inquisitor comes in and he's like, you know, you need to step down. Like, 
remember your place. You're trash. Like, he's kind of been telling her she's not really an Inquisitor. Like, you came to us. Like, you weren't really chosen to be an Inquisitor. Like, we made you one of us, but you're not part of the crew. But um, then she offs him. Damn! Damn! She offs the Grand Inquisitor. Just, you know, Kylo Ren styled. And I was like, wait, but if I remember in Star Wars Rebels, which is way after this, you know, a couple years after this, he gets killed by Kanan Jarrus. He's standing, I mean, they're fighting and he's on the ledge and he tells him, I don't remember exactly what he tells him, but he tells him, like, you know, you'll never win, you'll never be a Jedi, you still have a lot of training to do because Kanan still was technically a Padawan, never really became a Jedi Knight. And then he, he, he throws himself into this pit of fire and, and blows up. So I was like, he died in Rebels. How does he die now? So that totally retcons a lot of stuff. Like, big old plot hole. Like, now, technically, that makes Rebels no longer canon. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But when I was like, when that happened, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And, you know, I was like, wow. And then this chick's like, we're going to get you. And, like, she's like the new mall. Kind of. I can't really yell. I'm in my apartment. It's almost one in the morning. <laughs> I'm super passionate about this. I'm really excited for this series. Uh, I'm really excited to see where they take this to take Obi Wan's story, which is funny because like you know you're watching it and it's like sometimes it's like oh my god he's gonna die, oh my god he's gonna die, but I forget he gets killed in Episode Four. Duh. <laughs> but uh, I'm really excited again, guys. I hope we, we stay with this. If you have any uh, questions, comments, of course, I know I've missed uh, a little bit of information on here. Like I said, I'm just doing initial reviews. We're going to go through the nitty gritty. And my next video, this one's going to, that next video is going to combine episodes one and two in, into one so that we just, you know, kind of knock those out. And then as the episodes come through, we'll be doing more reviews, getting more in depth and stuff. Also, if you're a comic book reader, just want to give a shout out that Obi Wan number one has just came out. Uh, about a week ago, and number two is going to be coming out next month. And it talks about Obi-Wan, this one as uh, a Padawan, and he's kind of reliving his life memories. Um, really good pickup if you're really into comics. Um, I don't know if this is going to go straight into the show, um, but I think that's fun for uh, fans who really want to start expanding your universe. Because um, remember, you also have a Star Wars expanded um, the... Uh, Star Wars Legends, which is kind of like you know, Expanded Universe Revan and all that. Um, but the comic books, like I said, I don't know if it's going to go into the um, show, but it's a kind of cool like little filler if like you're, you're like, man, I'm on a Kenobi high. Like I just want to keep learning, keep learning. That's something good you can read. Um, there's a lot of the other books. Uh, Master and Padawan, which is a hardcover book um, talking about... Uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan in between episodes 2 and 3, and I think also 1 and 2, kind of like in-between stories of uh, adventures that they've been on. So you really get to see that dynamic between them even more than versus just watching the movies. So a little tidbit there for you guys. Um, as always, like and subscribe, comment below. Uh, we look forward to your thoughts. Look forward to this journey, and may the Force be with you.